Hello everyone, welcome back to the Dice Matrix. My name is E.T. and I'm here today to do a short, quick video about how I picked up a few things off of um, Amazon that may or may not interest you for people like us that do things with cards and whatnot. So, uh, here we go. Okay everybody, um, well one of the first things I got off the internet uh, were, were some cards, because I'm trying to design my own little game and they come into a four pack. I've opened one up, but it will come in a... Um, like these are playing cards that you can write and make your own things because I'm trying to design my own little game and it just opens real easy but I'll show you I've already opened a pack I used some of them because I'm but they're pretty decent quality I think online they said something like linen finish but they are definitely not linen finish they're just kind of a, a nicer cardboardy but they do handle well you can shuffle them very easily um, I don't know how durable they are but you know if you just want to get started or make your own little basic game uh, they'll work, and um, it's has been a pretty good little item for me. But um, I would say that I probably, I forgot what I paid for these. It wasn't too bad for the price that you get, but I want to say, I don't know, it was like 10 bucks or something for these. But, you know, and you'll get a, each one of these packs is, what, 45, so 180 cards total. So not too bad. Um, the other thing I got off of Amazon was not this, but I did... I had built my own deck holder. If you watch my 100th episode that says do it your own self, but I had um, I used for Shadows of Brimstone. These are old magic boxes I cut up, and I made a 12 uh, showcase thing that you can stick cards into, and actually this is the standard size card, so I'll just show you that real quick. But the whole thing is, I want to show this is more of a comparison um, to the, the thing that I got off of Amazon, which is the Hold It card holder, which is pretty cool which is this bad boy right here. So that has a lot of spaces. It's got 15 slots. Let me see if I can cut on the light here to give a little bit better look inside here. Where is my flash? Nobody tells me anything. Well, I'll just lighten it up later. So anyway, this holds, um, you know, a lot of, I think originally a lot of people were trying to sell this as like they call it a card sorter. So it is uh, 3 by 5, which is 15. But this last slot, which is interesting, doesn't have a divider in the middle. Um, so you could put unusually shaped cards, which works really good for Shadows of Brimstone for me because they have those big um, monster cards and you can put in there. But um, I paid like 18 bucks for this, and it's kind of overpriced. But the nice thing is it is at an angle. So when your cards go in, it's easy to pull out and shuffle. But together, with these two things together now, I should be able to hold everything I need uh, card-wise for Shadows of Brimstone by my side, which is nice. And this is elevated in the back at an angle, so uh, that turned out really, really nice. Um, I still love my original one. Oh, but the bonus part of this is that since they're a little bit wider, that I couldn't do with the original is sleeved cards. So I can now, if I don't throw it all over the ground... <laughs> which I just did, you can put sleeved cards in here. So cards with sleeves are always awesome, um, which I can't do with my original one because they were made for mostly the magic packs that came in, so they do not fit in here. Um, I usually don't sleeve my Shadows of Brimstone, but there's some games I do, and um, so that's another plus for this Hold It card holder. I'd have to give this, the product itself, it's a, probably a 10 out of a 10, durable, Solid, good-looking, sleek, holds a lot, a little extra functional with that in the back. Price, uh, five out of ten probably. Pay too much, but I had some credit, so that's the reason why I did it. All right, well, this has been a quick review of some uh, cards you can get if you want to make your own games or if you play big card games like Firefly uh, card of the board game or um, like Me Shadows of Brimstone or something. You need a lot of cards to maintain during your gameplay, or if you just need to sort your cards really quick. This works as a good card sorter. Um, thank you for watching the Dice Matrix. Until the next time, keep the dice rolling or the cards flopping.